Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, the Moon Tarot. So Cancers, tonight I thought we would take out the baby deck, right? Um, it's been a little while, so I want to see what's going on with your energy. You guys know I pop in every night, at least I try to. Um, anyway, Cancers, I love you guys. This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Um, just take what does resonate, toss out the rest. You guys know what you're doing, you know. Don't try to force any reading, okay? And um, thank you, Cancers, for all of your kindness, man. The, the high vibes, the positive feedback, all the likes, all of my new subscribers, my new Moonies here, yay! Um, thank you, everybody, for just allowing me to be part of this soul tribe with you, this journey, okay? Um, anyway, yeah, the, the baby deck is calling to me. So let's see, let's see what messages the divine has for you, okay? All right. Yeah, look, you're able to manifest pretty much whatever you want. <laughs> Cancer, your manifestation skills are just on, man. Um, you want a new drum set, Cancer? You can have that new drum set. You want that little margarita? Yep. That little milkshake, whatever it is, you can have that too. I feel like you guys have this really like... Um, it's kind of like this little fun, enchanted kind of air about you right now. Uh, and you know that you're manifesting all kinds of great stuff in, in your future here because you have this. I feel like you're backed by the divine. You're being led to. Um, and you know that. That's really what I'm feeling like. There's something really magical in the air about you right now. I don't know what it is. Are you guys like dancing around your house here, thinking of all the good things that are coming towards you? That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. Um, someone else is saying goodbye to third-party situations and extra women or men. Take it how it resonates, but I'm seeing feminine energies here, and they're saying goodbye to like third-party situation stuff. I feel like they want to heal this heartache. What's going on around Cancer? Your person always shows up, Cancer. I gotta say. Yeah, watching you. Um, do or do not. There is no try. Okay, so this person, they want to come in and mend this broken heart with you. They're, I feel like they're saying goodbye to situations or people in their life that um, really brought them nothing but despair. Look at all the skulls and bones laying around, okay? Um, sirens, right? That's the, that's the feel of this card. They're saying goodbye to the sirens. Um, and I feel like they've been watching you. I feel like a lot of people are watching you, Cancer. Just kind of get your blessings and be in this happy, dreamy kind of, I don't know that it's like you guys are dancing around your house, just thinking a new, you know, the where you're going to go next, right? Um, manifesting your new cycle. And this person, they want to come back in and finish this. If there's unfinished business, that's what it feels like to your person is unfinished business. You know, maybe you guys were together before, you know, um, and it may not have been for very long. And then all of a sudden it was going good and it just stopped just stopped. And I feel like this person left, ghosted you maybe, um, and now they want you back. They're watching you. All eyes are on you. And now it's like they either need to do something or not. That's the choice they have. This is going to go nowhere unless, unless this person puts forth some kind of effort. Okay? So it's a do or do not. There is no try kind of situation, and that's coming from Yoda. So who's going to argue with that, right? All right, what else can you show me here for cancer? Yeah, just as you're manifesting something new. You could be dealing with the Virgo, with the magician here, or any water sign. Yeah. Yeah very emotional time here. I feel like your person is um, really sad about this. Uh, 
very emotional and you're like protective that's the feeling that I'm getting I feel like they're sad about that because this whole thing kind of changed you and how you see this person that's really what I'm feeling like here you don't see them the same way like here you are when they're not around and when this person's energy is around you you're like this they know that they broke your trust. They know you don't trust them. They know that uh, things have changed between you and them. Um, and it's, it's making this person really emotional and sad because it's like they, things were going so good before. They had a really good opportunity here. And they walked away from it abruptly. I, it just came to an abrupt stop. So I figure, I feel like this person abandoned you or ghosted you okay leaving all this unfinished business making you not trust them making you protect yourself around them and that's not at all really what you're like you're gentle you're in, you, you bring the enchantment with you or something you know you're very magical here and happy and glowing and able to manifest all these blessings just coming to you you know what i mean but man, you think about this person's energy and it changes really quickly because they know they, they broke your trust when they broke this connection and they, and they broke, you know, they just stopped. You know, they know they're not, they can watch you forever and not know exactly how you feel, okay? They can watch you all they want and not know how you feel until they do something and that's where they are now they know that they're up against a wall here they either do something or not there is no other possibility here yeah what did i say up against a wall there's your brick wall this person look at all this love here this person's fallen in love with you cancer okay but they want you to love them again that's that's a big problem for your person here because they they feel like you don't feel the same way about them anymore and i think they're right that's that's the way it feels like to me too when you're alone dreaming of your new stuff and spending time with the divine and manifesting your new cycle and everything you're great you're glowing you start thinking about this person and you instantly turn into, you know, like very protective and what are you doing here kind of energy, okay? So yeah, the, I can even see the difference. I think you know the difference too because really you're not that, you're not really like this. Um, and your person just wants you to love, this. This is this is them falling in love with you and this is a different kind of love. This is a love me love me it's kind of a forceful like they want you to love them okay but they're coming forward <laughs> they're coming forward here because like i said they either do something or they don't that those are really their two choices either do something or not that's it that's all they got so I feel like this person's coming because they know they can wait around and watch you forever and they're still not going to know if they can get that love back. They've got to come in. Um, so I feel like, yeah, they're coming. All right, so what else can you show me here? This person is in love with you. I feel like they're, yeah, see, trust is a major issue here. Trust is a major issue. You don't trust this person anymore. They want to try to get you to love them again. Yeah, because they stabbed you in the back. They ruined a good thing here. They had this with you, and it's a, like a celebration gone bad, right? So they stabbed you in the back. They stabbed you in the back and left you there to bleed out. What did I say? They abandoned you. That's what it felt like here. They abandoned you, ghosted you, and left your connection in ruins, okay? And you had to heal all by yourself. I don't see anybody else here with you trying to help you. No. Then they went and they got committed to someone who's toxic. So they 
They shot an arrow through you and abandoned you. The one who's glowing, the one who's connected to the divine. And they got with someone who's toxic. Okay, that's, that's why you don't trust this person. That's why. And, you know, uh, they want you to trust them again, but I don't know. I'm clearly seeing an arrow shot straight through you. And I feel like that's what you think about, too, is that pain when you associate even their name, right? Um, yeah, this person's upset, you know? I'm feeling more like this is like the moon, the, a mystery. And I'm seeing all this red, so I do feel like they're very passionate about this. They're very kind of upset about thinking about this. This is the moon. This is my card for like wish fulfillment, okay? Um, this is something that you wished for coming true, all right? So I feel like this person is really upset now because they had a chance at a wish come true with you. And they, they, they blew it. They blew it. They betrayed you, sat, uh, sacrificed you, chose someone else. And now they're upset because this is a mystery. Will they be able to get this wish fulfillment back? Because it was good. This is good. This is not. Okay. Um, they want the good stuff. They want this. They want their wish fulfillment. That would be you. That would be this connection, but they don't know if they can get it back. All right. Because of how they treated you. Yeah, they're kind of like dumbfounded here. Very passionate person. Um, and all they're doing is thinking about you and the passion that is um, that you guys share between you and your connection, okay? This is what they're thinking about. This is all the stuff going on in their head. Daydreamy about you, the passion that you shared, um, how they're watching this wish, this wish float away. How nurturing you were to this person, how kind you were to this person, how um, how you were always there for this person, and how you know besides the passion they didn't they didn't even pay attention to you. They're thinking about that too. Besides the passion, they didn't pay any attention to you at all. Look at the picture, and here you are, a beam of light here. This is you, this little bright light, in all of this darkness. You're a guide for this person, I feel. It's, it's that energy that you carry, Cancer. Okay? Like I was talking about, there's something kind of magical, enchanted about you right now. You're, guide, you're a guide in a world of darkness. You're like the only bright spot this person really sees. And they, they, they totally... They screwed up, man. They screwed up. And th this is that look on their face where they realize it. You know what I mean? That, oh, what? What? Yeah. But I still see this person still wrapped up in a toxic commitment, I have to say. They're still in a toxic commitment that they chose over you and abandoned you. And just they left you crushed, man. All right, what else can you show me, Divine, for Cancer? Now they want to come in. Yeah. I feel like you're just, you've been thinking about this stuff too. I feel like you can also pick up on the fact that your person's thinking about you. You know, look at, look. You're both kind of mirroring each other, thinking about all of this. Um, I think you're going back and forth between um, trying to get over what happened here. 
knowing your person's pulling on your energy, thinking about that. What if they do come in? What what's going to be said? What am I going to do? What are, what are they going to? You know what I mean? When is that going to be? Because I want to lay around in my underpants. I don't want to put any clothes on right now. You know what I mean? It's like that. Because you're also just trying to be happy. Okay? So I feel like I feel like your your feelings really have changed for this person. That's really what I, even though you guys are mirroring each other right now in all this contemplative energy, um you're thinking of new things while they're thinking back about you. Um, your feelings, I feel like they really have changed towards this person, Cancer, I gotta say. Alright, so what else can you show me here? And they just want you to love them again. But they're still attached to a, a karmic individual. Stressed out. They're trying not to be so stressed out. Keep it secrets. There could be a secret. What is the secret about? I feel like they're trying to keep it a secret that all they're doing is thinking about you. They're trying to keep it a secret that they're stressed out about losing you. Okay? That's really what I'm feeling like here. I feel like this person's just trying to keep all of their feelings a secret and it's becoming very hard because they're like tearful crying there's like a storm inside of this person but they need to keep it on the down low because they are currently with a toxic individual yeah their wish fulfillment i'm telling you they're losing their wish fulfillment it's going down going down in smoke yeah they know um, now this person's in love with you they want you to love them back but I mean are they gonna take action or are they just gonna stay where they are watch you think about you and let this thing come to an end that's the question that we're all wondering right are they gonna take action or not all right, divine. Are they coming? What action is this person going to take? What action is this person going to take? Ooh. They want to be freed from something first. Okay. What action is this person going to take? This is my free card. They just want to be free from this toxic situation. I feel like time is a factor here. Yeah, communication, wanting a new journey. Yeah, they, they want to communicate. They want a new beginning. They're hiding it underneath this smoke screen because you're still very much not trusting this person. That's you. Um, But let me get a few more cards. Okay, what action is this person going to take? They're energetically trying to call out for you, okay? So I don't know what this person is doing, if they're meditating on this, if they're just heavily thinking about you, maybe Cancer. They could even maybe try, uh, they, they could be trying to call you and maybe they're blocked. Because I'm seeing this person just completely panic-stricken here. Um, bug eye panic trying to call out to you so maybe you have this person blocked and I feel like you're kind of comfortable with that you're, you're comfortable having this person blocked I'm kind of getting the feeling like you know they're close you know they want to come and talk to you really bad but you like don't even know if you want to talk to this person like you don't even know if you want to talk to them or not because you don't trust them it's like part of you wants an answer, but part of you just doesn't want to see them again. And they know that. They know that. Look at this. What have I done? Yeah, they know. They, I, I feel like you had love for this person at one point, but you don't see them the same anymore. After what they've done, after all this time, there's, you know, and you're thinking on this. It's not like you haven't given this any thought. 
that's kind of all you're doing about it. That's all that's that's all they've that's all they've left you with is just to be able to think on it. So I, I feel like there's just a lot of pain and bad blood in between you guys and this person didn't make it right. And they're realizing that now, but they're stuck. What have I done? That's how your person feels. What have I done? Because they're stuck in this toxic situation. They're watching this thing go down in flames here with you, thinking about all of this stuff in the past and what you're all about. And it's like they fall in love with you deeper, but you're, you guys, the separation is becoming greater. You know what I mean? And they're, they're just kind of like, they don't know what to do. Yeah, I feel like communication is coming. That's just too many. Yeah, see, they don't know what to do because we're right back to this. How you feel about them now. And they're like, what am I going to do? How am I going to get How am I going to get my cancer to love me again? Especially if they're still with someone else like hello, man. Yeah, they know they have to get freed from this toxic situation. I feel like they think you can help them, maybe help them work through the emotions or something, because you are a beacon of light here. But you're not giving this person any energy, and it looks like nor do you want to. Yeah, Cancer. Anyway, Cancers, listen. Yeah, your person's going through it. And that's what I got. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Um, we're growing in numbers here as a soul tribe. And honestly, I'm just so proud of us all. So if this resonates with you and you like my vibe, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Become a new Mooney. Yes. And um, until next time, Cancers, take care of you, my darlings. And peace out.